make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get into my knitting progresses. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dominika. I am a lady with a knit on Instagram and YouTube and I am here to share my knitting and crocheting progress together with the cross stitch and all the joys of hand making and the lovely needle craft. Here he is. <laughs> Speaking of the devil himself will always appear. So Ramsey is my biggest knitting and crocheting help. He loves to help me with any sort of unwinding work or if I need more tangles in my life. He's always free and available to help. A little story about how I actually started knitting and uh, cross stitching it's all uh, it's all actually thanks to my grandma because as far as i remember she was actually the one who purchased my very first uh, it was actually uh, a printed design on the canvas it was a matching the massive one but um I remember I just I just loved it since the very first cross stitch and um, I'm actually very grateful to my grandma because she taught me how to cross stitch and how to knit but she also taught me how to do it professionally and um, I always remember that she used to tell me that all of my stitchers they need to be neat and uh, nice and um, it just it actually saved me so much time because um, I think this is how I actually also gone into uh, liking to do it because when I finished it, it just um, it just lo looked very professional and um, very beautiful. Ramsey, you need to be on your best behavior. Yeah, because a lot of ladies will see you. So this month uh, was quite busy. I actually managed to release two of my own patterns for socks. Uh, we will get to this um, a little bit further down in this video. But I've actually done some amigori uh, crocheting as well. So I am making uh, the bunnies. I'm actually making two. Um, this one is all sewn up, this one still needs some uh, TLC, but I'm sure I will get, um, I will get through it because um, the two of them will be gifts, so I actually need to finish it. Um, this one just needs uh, the ears to be sewn up and the, bu uh, the bow to be made, and it will be all good to go. It is actually a uh, gazelle baby cotton that I am making it with. Um, it is quite a nice um, yarn. The problem with this yarn is that I can't actually source it in the UK. Uh, I can purchase it from Etsy. However, it does cost quite a bit to, um, to send it here. So you have to pay a little bit more with the postage. I'm not the person who likes to spend a lot of money on a postage. I'd rather buy another ball of yarn out of the money. But um, it, if you can actually uh, find somewhere to buy it, give it a try. It is a very nice um, yarn. It is 60% uh, cotton and 40% acrylic. So it, it doesn't tend to uh, split as much and it does have that nice uh, cotton shine. Um, so this one is the one that I actually managed to purchase from Lithuania. So I have a lot of um, I have a lot of this color. Um, so this is why I am making. Uh, I'm trying to using up use it up because I don't think I will be knitting anything out of it. But for any amigurumi, it is it's a lovely, lovely, um, lovely yarn. Um, I'm also making it with a 2.5 millimeter crochet hooks. Now, when it comes to my knitting, um, the knitting needles, they are game-changing. Um, I started knitting with the Knit Pros, um, and then for my birthday I did request for um, Chow Gu needles. And um, I just can't tell you how much I love actually knitting with them, uh, but for a crochet hook, 
the cheapest one is actually the one that I prefer the most. I don't like the ones that have the bulk on the end. Um, I, I don't know, it's just um, something, maybe the way I crochet, the one, the simple one, it's, it, it's just, I love it the most and it's my go-to that I choose to. I have actually been giving, given 2.5 uh, with um, Ramsey's. sculpture <laughs> or how do I make it it's, it's handmade um, I believe it's made from polymer clay and um, it is to represent Ramsey and, and I would love to actually use it but it's just it weights a lot and I think that's why I do like the, the classic um, just plain hooks because I hate having any bulk on the end same goes with the rubbery ones or any thicker ones I don't know why I just I just don't like using them um, so even though I have a beautiful one I always go to just a simple one Wait. but prefer the most just use it um, but other than that all the supplies are pretty simple uh, with amigurumi as long as you have a good pattern to follow and um, stuffing and you crochet quite tight it will always come uh, come out pretty nice so um, the bunnies are almost uh, ready all the parts are made I've just got to um, stitch them up um, also I do um, I'm a just a sucker for any project bags I have to have everything in one bag so I probably at the time have like four or five laying all around my house, uh, which drives my husband crazy. Uh, I do have a craft room, which I'm currently filming on. However, in most cases, um, I seem to turn my house into my craft room. As I said, I'm also making my sister a Whitmore cardigan. I have made one. Uh, for myself originally just as the Amy's uh, pattern came out I was um, I actually purchased it on the very same day and if you are interested in um, checking out my very first one that I have made it is actually on my Instagram page um, I have two knitting podcasts there that I started filming so if you are interested in the progresses or the yarns that I have used and more details then please go and check out my Instagram page and you will find my cardigan. Uh, my cardigan, it was a quite a success. Um, it is, um, it just fills my heart with joy because um, it just reminds me of that when I was knitting that cardigan, I actually started filming my knitting podcast and uh, slowly, slowly it has actually um, led to me having my own uh, YouTube channel, which you are currently watching my video on so hopefully I continue to um, share my knitting progress with all of you in the um, hair so <coughs> um, I was very enthusiastic when I started uh, knitting this one um, because of the yarn um, I am a great um, I am just a lover of hand dyed yarn this is my uh, go to yarn I always choose to, to knit with that one unless it's um, either crocheting or if the fingering yarn does not suit my uh, knitting needs then I do look elsewhere to purchase the yarn but mainly I do knit with uh, hand dyed yarn and I've also um, started to dye my own one. This one is made with um, elderflower stitches. Uh, yarn which was in her Easter box and this is the yarn that I am using Elderflower Stitches Susie the owner of it if you have not checked out her page I strongly strongly recommend you everything that I have received from Susie there wasn't a single yarn that I hated this is the yarn that I'm using for my sister's cardigan and uh, because this is the second one I'm knitting I've gone through the the pattern part quite quickly because it's interesting. I do love knitting lace, uh, cables, anything that 
keeps me uh, going and following the pattern I really enjoy um, I did finish the body when it got to the sleeves because it is just a plain st uh, stockinette stitch I just I don't know I, I lost I lost the, the, the feeling I lost the want to knit and it's currently been just resting since but I'm sure I do have to finish it. It's it's two three days of knitting and it, it would be done. And of course my sister is waiting uh, for it. She hasn't started asking for it yet, but I'm sure she will at some point. Um, as I mentioned, um, these ones are knitted on my chow grooves. Um, I used to knit with uh, knit pros, but when I've been gifted a full set of chow grooves, I just I just don't want to look back. It is such a, a game changer. Um, a lot of people warn me that these will be too pointy. I don't find them as pointy as um, higher highers, but um, I like those ones as well. So I think higher highers they are pointier, but um, a lot of people consider chagos to be very pointy. I personally don't. When I knit, I do like to also push the needles with my finger. It doesn't give me any discomfort. Um, so, yeah, they, they are really, really worth the money. Purchasing the ones that you knit with the most. Um, because it, it just it's, it's a game changer. Um, knit pros were not as nice. Um, although they are good. But I think um, everyone has their preferred... Um, tools that they like to use. I was really struggling to find the buttons uh, but then one day I actually went on to Etsy and I have discovered the lady that actually makes the buttons so these are the ones that I will be putting onto my sister's cardigan and hopefully uh, I think they will complement they will make a little statement as they are blue but um, yeah I think I think they will uh, they will actually um, stand out and um, add to the prettiness of the cardigan. Earlier on in the video I have mentioned that some of the time during this month I've actually spent knitting socks and I've actually knit three pairs of socks plus one uh, <laughs> in a smaller size because I had to test it. Um, so I've designed a um, shorties socks uh, which are also knit with a hand dyed yarn and this one features nestled leaves pattern uh, that goes throughout the top of the foot and the base of the foot is knitted with um, a simple stockinette stitch um, all of my socks are designed um, exactly the same way uh, so I've already released two uh, this is the second one, which I think um, are just beautiful and uh, I'm very happy with them. And uh, this one has been knitted with uh, my own dyed. This is the colorway that I have used. It is um, a lovely um, Easter Fields that was one of my very first colorways that I have um, dyed for uh, my Etsy store which is also lady with a knit um, and uh, I think they just complement uh, the socks really really well those ones they already been tested and uh, all ready to be purchased um, those ones were actually designed with my mom in mind because she really likes the longer socks I'm true fan of um, shorty socks all of the socks that I ever wear are always shorties so maybe that's why I do love them however these were not long enough for my mom so then I went ahead and designed uh, the long version of the ones that have a beautiful cable stitch through the top those ones are actually knit with the same yarn that my jumper so these are all the socks that I have made in this uh, month and uh, I've also dyed up two more colors 
um, because I am actually short on uh, yarn for, uh, for socks. If I do want to uh, cross stitch, Dimensions is usually the brand that I go to purchase kits and I do have a little stash that I do love um, to stitch one day. <laughs> Very messy cross stitcher actually. Um, I'm kind of used to now just bringing my yarn to the front and then cross stitching over it as I uh, start filling in the parts. And even when I do um, cross stitch with a hoop, I just can't get that habit out of myself and that's what I end up doing. So uh, my heart and uh, my patience go out to all of those that are neat stitchers because I am definitely not one of those. But um, Dimensions are quite, um, quite known for their orangey faces and this girl definitely does have that um, orange face. I'm not really a fan of, of that but um, I've seen worse in other other companies that produce the kits. Um, I do like um, make, having kits. It just takes some of the stress for collecting the yarns and um, choosing fabrics and just gathering everything before you can actually start making it. With a kit you just simply take it and you're ready to go to start making it. Um, I think this is one of the reasons why it's probably been almost five years since I decided to stitch Mirabilia and I'm still nowhere near gathering all the yarns. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking through with me and watching my video. I hope you do decide to subscribe and come back for more. Um, as I do, definitely uh, plan on making monthly uh, knitting podcasts and also um, some fun, maybe daily vlogs. Um, we'll see how it goes uh, with filming. Um, I would like to say a big thank you for um, watching my video and um, I hope you will comment uh, and we can have a little chat. Um, as I earlier mentioned, do come to uh, follow me on Instagram as I do um, share a lot of my life there, um, which relates to knitting, stitching, sewing and um, just in general daily life um, and of course um, happy moments. And um, yeah, I hope I do um, continue to vlog. I'm very grateful for my husband who has kindly gifted me a camera to make my dream a reality and uh, I would like to wish everyone a beautiful day or morning or evening whenever you're watching this video and um, have fun crocheting, knitting or doing whatever makes you happy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!